Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien here on Tuesday, August 27th, along with Bubba. And we're going to do a special commentary report today. Uh, and hopefully, Mr. Paul Harvey Jr. will like this, but this won't be sitting in for Paul Harvey. It'll just be me. So here it goes. Hello, Americans. Well, we've come to this point where we have to discuss the inevitable. The disintegration of us, meaning the USA. And what caused the disintegration of the USA? Well, according to the records that I found back in 2066, and talking to the guy from my other video, Full Circle, the rest of the story that I tried to tell you, uh, there was a few things that cost it. So just think of uh, four things. And in geometric figures to represent them. You have people with a circle. You have capitalism with a triangle. You have democracy with a square. And then you have federalism with a trapezoid. Now, what do you think of all those? You can't put them in together, can you? Because they don't fit. And the only problem is that your founding fathers and your subsequent successors didn't understand this. And they <laughs> compounded the situation worse instead of making it better. Therefore, this is causing you guys to disintegrate. And to give you an overview, when you guys declared war to the British in 1776 for, quote, independence, that is a word that you guys don't even comprehend even today. Independence. Uh, well, you went into it hard-heartedly. Sure, you got the Declaration of Independence, but that's still words, even today. It's still words. Nobody assumes any meaning to that. And that's the problem. Uh, number two, how do you get 13 different views of points to fight a common enemy? Well, you didn't. You have certain people from the colonies. Most of the people in the colonies wanted to stay with the British. You just had a few rebels that went out there and gave their lives for this. Well, at the end of the Revolutionary War, in 1781, and then the Paris, uh, Treaty of Paris of 1783, uh, a lot of people left this country because they didn't like, they wanted to be British, so they went either to Canada, back to England, or to the West Indies. But somewhere along the line, the ones that stayed decided that we had 13 colonies, let's make them 13 states, and somebody to watch over them. But it was so weak, it didn't even last a decade. So by 1788, you had to do an emergency and create the Constitution. But the problem is, in creating the Constitution, what form of government do you want? So they looked long and hard through um, human history, and they came up with a strange variation. They came up with Rome, and later on, uh, an Italian state that they uh, used, and they used the presidency is modeled after the Doge there. And, well, you know that uh, Venice, the Venetians 
their form of government was not great. It, the upper classes ruled Venice, but they used that as a model, along with the Roman Senate. Uh, and that's how you created the United States. It wasn't that they tried to create the House of Commons and the House of Lords. But you notice that the House of Representatives is for the meager people. And the House of the Senate is for your high class and supposedly state representation. Uh, and only a few men could vote, remember? For a long time, almost a century and a half, a few men could only vote because you had to have a certain requirement. So then you try to limp that form of government, and they tried to create it as a federal form of government. There is where my four little geometric figures I told you about before come in, and they don't fit. And then you had uh, Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson, which, like I told you in my other videos, that's why you live in a uh, Jeffersonian government, but you actually live in a Hamiltonian society. And look that up and find out why I say that. Because you can't have democracy, a federal government, and they say fair capitalism. And the capitalism, they, they liked it because of its predecessor. A uh, hundred and some years before the Constitution, this Frenchman named Jean-Baptiste Colbert developed mercantilism, which became capitalism. And this is the form of capitalism that the Americans liked, his form. So they tweaked and tweeted it to what you got today. Keynesian capitalism, as in Keynes. But you never bother to correct the problems with your federalism and with your individualism. So those are coming back to haunt you. Hence, you got Donald J. Trump as president. Because you got another thing that was working below the surface that you guys ignored for most of your existence, nationalism. Now he's bringing that up, whether it's white supremacy nationalism, uh, what you call it, right-wing nationalism, whatever you want to call it. He brought that up to the surface, that it was sequestering there for the last century and a half. So you see, Americans, this is your favorite alien, and Bubba, telling you why, by 2024... You guys will cease to exist. Wait till you see the 2020 election. The Democrats will have a problem because they cannot get a consensus on their candidate and their convention. And the Republicans will have no backbone because Mr. Trump controls uh, the deplorables and the NRA controls him. So this is what you got. You're heading into a coup d'etat. And how are you going to stop it? This is your favorite alien saying, and Bubba, saying good day.